Guys, I think we found it. We found a camera app that delivers in many situations a better image than what a stock Sony camera app can deliver. It is miles better than the one we've tested in our previous video, Open Camera App. Without no further delays, enter Camera MX. You can download the app from the Google Play Store, it's free. As in our last video, we've tested the third-party camera app with our beloved mid-range Sony phone, the Xperia XA2 Ultra. So let's see how this camera compares to the stock Sony camera app in daylight and low light. So let's start with pictures in more difficult lighting conditions. We have three photos side by side. The one on the left is taken with the Sony stock camera app in superior auto mode. The one on the center with the camera MX app in auto mode and the one on the right is taken with camera MX app in HDR mode. May I remind you that the superior auto in the Sony camera app triggered the backlight photo preset, meaning it took the photo in HDR. And the results speak for themselves. The superior auto photo and the camera MX auto photo are almost identical in every aspect. What sets them apart is the HDR photo taken by the camera MX with a much wider dynamic range, a better exposure, managing to rescue all crushed shadows from the photos on the left. The same story can be said for the second shot, the HDR photo of the camera MX being much better than the other two. Much better details and textures in the shadow areas on this photo, and colors remain natural without weird HDR processing artifacts. What is even more surprising is that zooming in we notice the camera MX photos are much sharper, and I don't think it's a focusing issue of the Sony camera app as you will see in the next photos. Camera MX pictures are usually at least as sharp as the ones resulting from the Sony stock camera app. Now that we are done with difficult lightning situations, let's get to normal daylight photos, where HDR is not really needed. On the left we have the superior auto photo of the Sony camera app, on the right we have the photo taken in the auto mode with the camera MX. So, for the next 5 sets of photos, you will notice that opposed to what open camera delivered in our last video, camera MX managed to take very good photos in daylight, with natural colors, very good exposure and in some situations better sharpness and detail, even compared to the stock Sony photos. I will let you watch all of them and prepare yourselves for the big surprise in low light. So here we are to our low light test between the two camera apps and, as you can see, at first sight no major differences here. Both cameras deliver the similar exposure but Sony's photo has a slight yellow tint to it. Nothing major but it's worth pointing out. Also the exposure values are pretty similar, both apps using almost the same ISO value and shutter speed. But let's zoom closer and we can see the big surprise. We all know that Sony's processing in low light for the Xperia line XZ2 not included leaves something to be desired, smudging some fine details with aggressive noise reduction. But Camera MX doesn't apply the same level of noise reduction and manages to maintain the natural photo with much better detail in textures. You will see we added a picture on the right. It's a post-edited photo version of the Camera MX's. We used Photoshop Express app on the Play Store, the only one that gives a noise reduction filter built in. Don't forget to log in with Facebook or Google to activate these filters for they are not free without signing up. Open the app and go to preferences and set JPEG quality to 100%. After that import the photo and go to the third tab from the bottom and choose reduce luminance noise and reduce color noise. Apply a value between 30 or 40 to both of them and voila. 
Most of the noise is cleared up without losing much of the detail. Watch the next low light photos and let me know what you think in the comment section. Oh, I almost forgot. Disclaimer. If you find yourself in an extreme low light situation, don't use the camera MX, it's useless. Sony's camera is much better as it can go much higher ISO levels. As you can see, the third party camera app is kept at around 2000 maximum ISO. So guys, I hope you liked our little video. Go and test the app for yourselves. It brings some nice improvements over the stock camera app depending on the situation you find yourselves in. Until our next video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Pixel Peepers signing out.